Well, hello, Colin R. Parsons, your children's author. Thanks for dropping by my YouTube channel. Uh, I've previously done a series of easy ways to start a story for 8 to 11 year olds, and then I went on to write them with the five senses. Uh, this series is all about easy ways of describing. Uh, I delve deep into the characters, only short videos to help you out when you're doing your own writing, but instead of just skimming through the story like pebbles skipping over a pond, if we can dig deeper into the characters, it makes the story come alive. Well, in this uh, series, I'm using zombies and vampires and werewolves and that kind of thing. And this episode, I'm using dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are cool creatures. Uh, they come in all shapes and sizes. And I'm going to see how this goes. Okay. Ethan and Angie were in the middle of the jungle. It was many thousands of years ago and they'd gone back in time. But the first thing they came across was this huge monster of a dinosaur. It stomped towards them on its hind legs. Every time it stood, the ground shook violently. It leaned forward and opened its jaws. It had two sets of long, sharp teeth. And when it growled, everything shook. The smell from its breath was rank. Its short little arms had needle-sharp claws. Its tail swooshed back and forth, slicing down small trees. It leaned in towards them and opened his mouth to eat them both. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, Dinosaurs, like I said, come in all shapes and sizes, pterodactyls, raptors, uh, but I'm just telling you that when you, you write the story, try and kind of describe what they look like instead of just skimming past that. Thank you for watching the video. If you could subscribe, like and comment, that would be brilliant. If you could click on the notification bell, you can find out about other stuff that I'm doing. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Teachers, if you're following this, then there's a website that will come up at the end, colinrparsons.com, and you can um, click on the contact page and maybe organise a visit for me to do a presentation in assembly or maybe workshops throughout the day or even talks in the library. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye now.